Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back here in the wonderful world of TerraTech, and today we are building ourselves a glider, a plane, something like that. I think it really it's a, it's technically it's a glider because it doesn't have any propulsion on it, apart from guns, guys. It's powered literally by guns, and it's incredible. Um, I've spent a bit of time just kind of playing around with the design, and I think I've got it pretty much down now, and it works so nicely. It's really, really awesome. So the first thing that it needs is four guns uh, to make sure that the vehicle is stable. This one needs to go around I think it's that way. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, and then we get one of these front-facing wheels just here. Pop that on. And now it's the right height. And if we use the guns, it'll go forwards. It goes. It's like a little mini rocket at this stage. It's really cool. If we put a barometer on the front and just go for it, you can see it just just wants to. It just wants to go. Uh, it, it's amazing. So uh, so that that works pretty well. Um, but as you can see, currently it's not symmetrical because of this uh, this wheel here. Um, so it gets a little bit on the confused side. But it's not too complicated to sort that out. Uh, essentially what happens next is we put in some large wings at the back like this. So it, can, it just has that sort of lift that we need to get it up in the air uh, and purely power it just by the thrust of the guns at the back so as you can see this does work this does take off it's a bit weird though as you can see i can hold down i can hold up and the vehicle does go down and up but it doesn't really move like a plane should uh, it has a good amount of control to it and if we get back up in the air again we can just be like nah, should just do barrel rolls no problem at all yeah there you go perfect and then you can just stop shooting and uh, eventually what happens is, we'll have to actually do this again a little bit here so we can get ourselves into the right position. Once you stop shooting, the, the plane actually takes over uh, and it gets basically kept in the air by the glider technology that we have built into it. It works so nicely, as you can see. It just wants to stay in the air. But the problem with this design is that currently, because of where the wings are, uh, as you can see, as soon as we lose that speed, it just drops because we don't have any way to kind of like manipulate it in the sky, which is super lame. So we need to make sure that we can change that by adding in some additional wings. Now, as you can see, that has uh, that has put us into an awkward situation because now we can't actually take off. Uh, with that additional stuff there. So what we then need to do is put something on the back just to make sure that it can carry on doing what it's doing. Uh, and I found the best thing to just pop on the back is one of these basic thrusters. We don't actually have to use it. It's just good there. I can just I don't have to hold, hold shift to, uh, to be able to take off. Now as you can see, we're almost there. It's kind of bouncing. I can actually just sort of manipulate it by holding, pressing up and down, tapping up and down. Uh, but it's up in the air, as you can see. It moves so well uh, for, a, for a glider. It's absolutely insane, actually. And we can just, like, it literally, you can just go like this and just start to force yourself. And it'll eventually, we'll just kind of, there uh, we go, just sort of land back down again. And we can get going again, no problem at all. It will just carry on doing exactly the same thing again. So it's just going to manipulate this a little bit. It needs to be actually put onto its upright again. There we go. So let me just touch the up and down a little bit until we get the lift off that we need there it is and straight up <laughs> it has the power to do so and then as you can see we can just kind of push it up and just take a break here and we're just going straight down now straight down and boop, 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 boop. And just touch down on the back. It crashed, but never mind. The I find that the best way of doing this uh, plane, believe it or not, is actually if we get a couple of extra pieces just here uh, and finish it off by having the normal wings uh, on the sides. Because now uh, what happens is it actually takes off really quite well on its own, as you can see. Just gets going. Uh, it still has that kind of control to it. It's still pretty good. But once you actually get into the gliding phase, uh, it's a it's a little bit more controllable and it has a good amount more lift. 
You need to be careful, obviously, when you're gliding. You do too much of this and you'll just drop out of the sky because that's how this works. But as you can see, it's really not too bad. There you go, it dropped, so you see. So we need to get that back up again now. There we go. Get ourselves into the right position. Like this. And we can just keep on doing this until we uh, land again. The other thing that you can do when you're working with uh, gun-powered planes, because they are so much super-duper awesome fun, uh, is you can take off the thing that uh, is making you unbalanced, which is, uh, for this example, is this wheel that we've got at the front here. The actual vehicle itself now, it starts to do this um, sort of really strange up and down that we've got here. This, this momentum is different because obviously they're not expecting you to use what we've decided to use here. Uh, but having that gone at the back there we means we can take off this. And now we're in a pretty good position for control. Uh, we can just let the plane come down. The momentum is pretty good. And actually... It's just by touching the the, uh, the power button there, uh, you can actually get this really nice uh, landed kind of VTOL uh, situation going on here, which is so cool. As you can see, it just looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to try. I'm just going to take a photo of it. I want to make it so that you guys can't see the cockpit. So let's go with this. There we go. That's our that's our uh, thumbnail for the for the episode. And now it kind of takes off like uh, like Thunderbird 1 did. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. And it just goes. And you can get up in the air you, once you've got that momentum. You have the control to bring it back down again if you want to. Uh, you can literally just do whatever you want with it because it's so, it's so powerful. There you go. As you can see, the momentum is working. And we can take our hand off the trigger. Uh, and just deftly work with ourselves and it becomes a glider again. So, all the stuff that we were working on uh, with making a glider, um, the, actually the best way of doing it is not to use propulsion, it's to use guns. Can you believe it? Absolutely insane, right? So let's just put ourselves back into the position. There we go. And just bring it down until it's super happy and there we go fantastic <laughs> i love it it's such a cool vehicle well what i want to try just quickly is i want to see what happens if we take off the larger wings and just have this kind of design i don't know if it will behave in the same way because i haven't actually tried it yet okay whoa 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 oh just uh, just touch there touch the ground the problem is that with this, once you kind of touch the ground completely, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, so we can we can put the, a gun on a different place. We've lost that wheel uh, for the front, so it's going to be really hard for us to take off again. Let's just hold this gun instead. Uh, yeah, see, as you can see, it's just not it's not a happy bunny at all now. <laughs> We've, there we go. We can, you can take off by doing that, but then that doesn't help us because then we're just like off the ground and it doesn't work. So. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. We have made ourselves an absolutely fantastic vehicle. I'll quickly put it back together again for you guys, and then I'm going to quickly demonstrate to you how you can get involved with the show if you want to, if you have any really cool ideas for techs in TerraTech or any other cool tech kind of games like this that you'd like to see us play here on the CAFCast, I'm more than happy to take a look at other games as well. So you can happily, happily let me know uh, of any other ones that you might have seen uh, you know, on the, on the interwebs and stuff. We're going to be trying to play some new, uh, exciting and hopefully interesting games very soon, actually. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't done that already uh, and make sure that you like the video as per usual. Where's the wheel? There's the wheel. Okay, we are back to the way it was before, so we can get going again. But before we do that, if you want to take part, all you need to do is press the photo button down here to take a photo of your tech once you have finished it. Name it. This gun's called, called Speed Racer. We'll change that because it's not Speed Racer anymore. This is Gunplane. Oh, it's, well, it's actually a gun-powered plane or a gun-powered glider, uh, but we'll uh, we'll change that as we go. Um, press save and then press tweet this, 
All you need to do to make sure that that gets over to me, this is actually going to be you tweeting out from your Twitter account. Um, so just make sure that you put at CAFCAST somewhere in that description so I actually get the uh, the tweet directly to me. Uh, CAFCAST? No. CAFCAST. That's me. Uh, and then once you've done that, it'll come directly into my Twitter inbox and I will uh, make sure that I like it for you so I've actually had a chance to see it. And then, if it's good enough, it will go on to the show, which is absolutely fantastic, as I'm sure you guys would agree. So, we're just going to do another takeoff here. I think everything's is everything the same, or have we changed anything? Can't tell. Huh. 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 I'm just trying to, like, get a bit of a bounce going. I, I don't know. It feels like... What have I changed? What's different? We've got the wheel. We've got the, the thing. Oh, yeah, the, the... I remember... See, I don't even follow my own my own <laughs> my own instructions very well. There we go. Well, as I said before, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please do make sure that you like the video. If you did enjoy the show today, subscribe. If you would like to see more TerraTech content, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye bye. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way, I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos.